Okay, so this is Spell Cards. We played the demo a ways back. And I've been saying for, I think, three weeks. This is the third week in a row I've said we're going to play it. We're actually going to play it. Uh, it's still in early access, so... Fair warning there. The in-game music is kind of quiet. I might turn it up, but we'll, we'll, we'll see where we are once we get some stuff done here. Okay. But I, I did enjoy the... Uh, Oh, the quests aren't even time-based. That's cool. Free rituals? Okay. I'm not sure, I guess the pebbles are the in-game currency. I think, if I remember correctly, the spells upgrade as you pick up more of the same uh, thingy. I don't know if there's a uh, if they've got a workshop thing. I like I I the I don't recall any of these uh these I am mousing through this by the way the uh I th I'm pretty sure I think the controller works during gameplay but not during uh I appreciate that the default wizard is Billy that's a game I still need to pick up actually it's Billy the Wizard of the Nintendo Wii I should go price hunting for that also I did I noticed um. What was it? Uh, they're cutting off uh, credit card transactions on uh, the Wii U and 3DS eShop soon, which means that you can still use cards, but that's that means make my shopping list and uh, finish up the Wii U stuff that I want. Which I think is just the Metroids, like everybody else has been going for. Since they're hard to find otherwise and the new one's coming out. Um... Yeah, I, remember, I, I definitely remember playing Arena Mode in the Pit. What's special? Oh, the Crash Test Studio is a practice mode. I did that to test the audio. So I think our levels overall will be good. I think the sound effects are kind of loud. I uh, have not tried Dungeon Dash, so I guess we'll try that. But, um... Yeah, let's earn some pebbles and do some stuff. And hopefully none of this progress goes away when they, uh... Finish it. Um, add AI. This is what we like to see. Okay, oh. A to activate controller. Oops. I didn't add AI. Now the... The, the uh, inputs decide to work. It's all good. Okay. I don't want to race alone. I'd at least like to beat some AI, right? Right. Okay. Oh, there we go. Controllers wake, woke up. A little four-player jam here. That seems good. Seems like a good start. Oh, that's right. I forgot it was four different slots. Okay. It doesn't just stack. Uh, apparently fires a little more like a laser. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's not X. What, is, what do I do? Okay, apparently, okay, if you open the, oh. First of all, why is opening that uh, menu? It's also disabling my acceleration, which is weird. Let me double check the controls on this.
It, like, it feels like... Or so, somehow Y ended up bound to two different things. Which is not the most bueno. So just don't use slot 4, I think is going to be the, the trick here. Like, I feel like that's something, like, the, I feel like the, uh, status menu should be something that, uh... Alright, I can't fire that backwards. We're learning. I need more mana. But yeah, I feel like whatever status menu that was, I feel like that should be bound to select. Rather than, uh... What, however it got tied to Y, so... Oh, it's right bumper to jump, okay. It's more of a rain of stuff. We jump those ground obstacles. Okay. I guess we'll take a core of all the courses. Again, like I said, early access. Some things might be a little borked. I'm not entirely familiar with all of the spells. So. I think it'd be nice to have a little, like, either, like, keep, um... I like that they tied lightning and wood together, like, um... That's more of the Japanese vibe for that. Oh. I need more mana. Like, uh... Folklore connection-wise. Also, like, okay, like, I... Wait, oh, is that Drift? Doesn't seem to help much. Okay, but it's a single tap drift. Okay. There might we might encounter some tighter corners that uh, use that. Um, I need more mana. But yeah, I feel like some way of highlighting which spells are available based on the mana you have. If they're all fifty percent, that's fine. But I feel like if you had a way to like light up the icons and like keep them dim when you don't have enough. That way I'm not listening to I need more mana over and over. I mean, I'll still probably be hammering buttons, but... Oof. Oh, that's cool. I don't think I ever... Oh, interesting. Dump help. Alright. So I'm not sure what counts as a ritual when racing, so... But we got an achievement for <coughs> driving the Wild West, so... That's cool. And three stars, which means we open a new drink. We drink the stars. It is a thing. I think, hopefully, we'll go at least long enough to... Check everything out. I'll probably, yeah, let's, let's dump some time into this since I put off playing for this long. Oh, no, we're racing. We're going to have a pirate party. Might start buffing up their difficulty, too. I appreciate that the courses have different elemental uh, obstacles as well. Like, yes, I need more mana. Oh, that one takes a hundred percent. I don't know it's laser blade. So I thought it was the drop one. Um, I 
Yeah, I feel like a tutorial mode might be nice to explain the ritual thing. Uh, I'm just throwing thoughts out there right now, now that we have the full version to talk about. Uh, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, like, I, like, what I meant was, like, the first course had, uh, tornadoes. This one's more of a stone and plant thing going on here. Whee! I think maybe in that spells inventory section, it kind of explain. It might explain what the different ones you can get do, but okay. So, running dude with pluses is more of a boost, and you're a little slidey for it. That's fine. I will say uh, the keyboard controls do still work. If you accidentally hit uh, Y and break whatever, but ideally I would like not to jump to those. And it's just, oh, it's, yeah, WASD. If you just do up on the WASD, you're good to go. But I punked myself. Shout out to auto regen. I wonder if the different drivers have different abilities too. We've got a bit of a longer lap thing going on here. I need your mana. And different voices. I don't know I didn't think of. Yeah, let's beef up the opposition to at least like medium for the next one because this is this has been kind of a cakewalk. Oh great, my connection has gone to shit. Thanks, Comcast. We were having such a good night. And you decided to ruin my life. Um after this race I will uh take a quick break. And hopefully my internet connection gets its shit together in the next, like, five to ten minutes, or I will fucking scream. My apologies for the shitty frame rate. I will... They, if you're watching the archives, it should be okay, because I'll probably just upload it offline. Oh, or edit it offline and then upload it, is what I mean. Yeah, that, that run mode also makes you super bouncy. I don't know if that's intentional. But it, do, it does further encourage not sliding off the... Or not bumping into the walls. Oh, wait. Might be coming back. Maybe we'll leave that... Okay. That was a shorter bump than I expected. Or not. I shouldn't have said anything. Well, let's give it a minute. It's looking a little better. We'll keep going. So if you're watching the archive, I'm sorry about that chunky bit. That's called having Comcast, the worst ISP in the United States. They're t honestly most, almost all of them are bad. Um, but that's that's small recompense. Weird name switching? Like, I don't know if that's a code error for whatever, like, name randomization it pulls from, but... Alright, hopefully these boys will be, it'll be some actual competition.
I like the like the 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 the, the, the like the blowy snow effects and kind of snow blindness going on. It's it's annoying, but like in a way that makes sense for the course and whatnot. I need more mana. Did you know that I need more mana? Not much music for this course at this point. Oh no, it's there. It's really quiet. It's even quieter than the other stuff. I feel like, if anything, there might be a... These guys cannot keep up. D-pad doesn't seem to do anything. By default. Although, I imagine you could just, like... Oops. Uh, it's not the one I wanted to use. But, oh, she oh, she'll protect you from, uh, ground obstacles, too. That's cool. How handy. I do appreciate that it's a full bubble and it, the, the bit that you can't see so goes below the track. Um... Yeah, I forgot where I was going with this. I do appreciate the mana thing as a bit of a constraint as well, like, so you can't just spam attack. Yeah, you can't, like, stack your deck and then spam attacks. I forget if you were freer to do that in the in demo that we played, but if it's a new ch if it's a, if that's a more recent change, I appreciate it. I need more mana. Bit of an odd graphical maneuver there. With the delay on that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Better timing. Now I can kind of see where the drift might come in useful. Alright. That's cute enough. I know if we were waiting for all the AIs to come in. Maybe we should... Bump it up a little higher, because these are weak sauce. To the bogs. Let's go find some bog zombies. They're not zombies, bog mummies. Okay, maybe the the weird name symbols are to actually indicate what difficult that level they are. That could be intentional. That just looked like uh, like code related information. You don't see uh, you don't see many see, see any increase or decrease based on your AI. Uh, opponent levels either, so I'm okay with that. I need more mana. Should have settled tonight's show, I need more mana. Interesting slide he's there, although I think that would be in part since it's raining that there's actually some physics uh, fun going on here. You could kind of go for a course map, but like I'm not dying for it. Alright, we got a lot of perps. Let's see if we can stack those at, anymore. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be... If it is increasing in, any, in level in any capacity, 
There's no real visual indicator of it. Okay. I don't know if the increased AI maybe just makes it uh, more aggro about spell casting or what. I like that area of effect attack. It'd be nice if we. Oh no, I did the thing where I hit Y. All right, we're gonna do this the hard way. I don't know any of the other controls, but. I right, found the jump button. All right, and the spells are on your numbers. Otherwise, so yeah. Look. Remind me to leave feedback about how the Y button seems to bring up a menu that should bind to select. Although I, I kind of like how the uh, having the the spells on the numbers is very MMO like. Speaking of MMOs, I did finish uh, getting the the new boat in um, Star Trek Online today. Yeah, maybe yesterday. Yeah, it was last night. I finished it up. Looks cute. The customization doesn't stick, so I feel like that might be a bug or error they need to fix. But like, it'll show you the adjustments you're trying to make, and then not actually save them, which is annoying. But hillsides, okay. It was written toward the course, but yeah, um, STO, STO, um, it's decent. I just hope they actually, like, can't do that. Can't do that. Oh, hey, we, got, we did something new this time. I, I, I have a feeling there might be a thing in there to keep you from. Oh, we have verticality now. Zany. Um, a lot of shadow there. Um, all right. Hey, we left the course. Uh, how do I get back? Uh, <laughs> yes, we did it. We broke it. Uh, so, um, invisible walls. Make them taller. Let's see if we can find the sub-ocean. We did it. Yay, hooray! Oh, why also resets you? <coughs> okay. So yeah, I feel like there's like three things bound to the Y button right now, and that is sub-ideal. Like, I, and I definitely don't have joy to key or anything on that would uh, double up my key bindings externally, so. Oh, we're going the wrong way, too. Okay, a wrong way indicator would be helpful. Um, it's a freaking Smurfs-ass location. At least maybe we'll get to actually like shoot some things. Um, but yeah, a wrong way indicator, taller invisible walls, or like a reset points. Yeah, if you want to make it like a kill zone that... Like, launches you back to the track. Whatever works for you. Developers. That wasn't a slight. That's me trying to be use a funny word and then being wrong about it. Whatever. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, wouldn't mind color customization on the, ba on the carts. 
Like, if I could paint this thing purple, that would be a delight. But that's a minor thing. I would say fix the whole leaving the course thing first. I'm trying to think what you could assign the reset to. Button wise, well, like on a gamepad, maybe like a stick press? I heard clicks hitting the right stick there, but. Oh, yeah, like pressing right stick to reset. You got the R, you got the R kind of alliteration there mentally. Uh, what else? Oofa doofa. I shot myself. Um. And then for the menu thing, yeah, for the score or yeah, for the uh, positional thing or whatever. If you even need that mid race, which I don't really think you do. Unless you want to, like, either make that an on-screen indicator while you're driving, or... Um... Flap it on select. Make it an on-screen indicator for the positional. Uh... Like, I don't, I don't know how hard it is to set that up to refresh while you're driving is the thing. That's why I'm... A little hez. Um... Spicy. Uh, b -b 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 uh, then you can just put the reset on select, I guess. I feel like you could also put the reset on click right stick in, or click left stick in and put the scoreboard on right stick, because the, again, the right stick's not doing much, or you can put a direction on right stick, but um, I just feel like some players might accidentally click the, uh, the left stick in. So I got a score of 3,900, so whatever. You know, while, while I like regular driving, so I just, I just worry about that. Okay, so bad times. Failure. Still got a star for it. Alright, well, we've played all the, the racetracks, so let's do all the battle thingies. We're gonna start those at easy again. Well, okay, I feel like, okay, having the score thing does make more sense for the battle mode. That makes sense. Although, again, you could do just an on-screen display on the left. And just be like, uh, yeah, yo. Because ha having to press a button for it feels a lot more, uh... A lot more FPS y. Like I know Halo, you gotta press select to get the goods. I need more mana. Damn it, I did it again. Alright, um. Hoping that hit somebody. <laughs> oh, chest. That's what I'm here for. Oh, f up, up yours. I don't know if this is like a challenge objective or is that finishing the game? If whoever gets 10 first is gonna get the goods. Yeah, okay, it's whoever gets 10 first. Fair enough. Second prize. 
Oh, four. Fourth, fifth, and sixth prize. That's a little weird. Not sure what's up with that, but okay. But I, I do like the battle modes having an extra objective. That's cool. Well, they seem to be kicking my ass in battle mode, so... Very, very scary in here. Having a second level with the stairs is going to throw me, but... No, I'm not going to lie. Like, on my monitor... Uh, great, I do also have a studio light right in my face, but I cannot see a goddamn thing. It, it's, it, there's enough other lit stuff going on that I can kind of figure it out, but... Yeah. That's more my setup, though, than anything else. Where my chesties at? easier to be strategic about it too uh, once you actually like learn what spells cost what amount of mana hello uh, damn it I did it again I've literally not seen in a single pebble chest spawn. I feel like maybe having a time limit you could set in this mode would help. So you're not stuck here forever. I like the map. It's a little tight, but, like, I like the idea of it. Just... Feels like a very quick match, grab and slaughter kind of thing going on here. I don't see a single pebble chest, so we're going to exit the main menu on there. Again, early access. So basically, it, yeah, it's all just the same environments as earlier. Got it. Suck it, nerds. I, I kind of like how the lower visibility on this adds a little bit of challenge to the whole collection thing. Dicks! Well, I'm kind of curious how the spawning works out. If it's on a set rotation, you could memorize that and just rip through this. I like the little well in the middle, too. It's a nice touch. Not quite enough juice. Ah! Ah! 
Okay, it seems very randomized. It's not like spawning in a circle or anything, so that's fair. I can dig it. I did something. Aha. Aha. I'm doing all right. Starting to make a comeback here. No. Dick. My own fault for not finishing the fight there. Got it. Close, but we got it. All right. You might actually win one of these. Got him. Beautiful. And the numbering seems to have fixed itself, so that's good. Apparently, apparently the uh, arena levels also all divvy up uh, achievements, so... I just a different, like, mode. Settings. Game mode, okay. Let's use the, the mouse here. Oh, there's a time limit, okay, it's just not displayed on screen. Alright, we'll try some different modes on these last ones. We have that ritual challenge, so let's try to figure out what that's all about. Oops. Well, we're gonna learn the, the slow way. I feel like it's probably just a checkpoint thing. Ah. Like King of the Hill, or... Weird that it spawned in the wall. But yeah, it's very it feels very king of the hill. I need more mana. I need more mana. Like get X number of seconds or King of the Hill maybe. Did I say King of the Hill already? I don't remember. Alright, so we gotta find another ritual. Ah, okay. I like that there's a gap between the spawns for them. I need more mana. I need more mana. I need more mana. I need more mana. I think maybe you have to match the color? But ideally you would get a bunch of different colored spells. I'm kind of confused as to how this one works. Again, tutorials would have been nice. I need more mana. I get a white and a red. There's, de there's definitely a white. Or now it's blue. I guess it's green. I don't think we got that one. 
Or did we? I don't know what... I, I, I legit don't know how this works. We have a spell of every color now. Well, it's spawning places that I can't park in the middle of, so... Or no, okay, that's the color. I guess we did it? I'm very confused. It's like pebbles. Yeah, I, I have no idea how to complete these rituals, so I feel like explainers for some of these modes would be handy. Try some other modes. Oh shoot, I can't Pumpkin Thief without opponents. Oh, well, I guess we can. It's going to be really short. I will remember to put uh, dudes in at some point. I like how this one's nice and open. We just need to find this pumpkin to actually steal it. Maybe an objective arrow would be nice, like overhead. Either top center or right above your character. Because otherwise, it's not exactly easy to see where the pumpkin is. But I feel like this is probably some sort of keep away, oddball sort of dealy. Yeah. Hot potato, if you will. Oh, but it does damage to you over time, too. Interesting. We just hold the pumpkin until it kills us? I mean, we got the winner score, so I'm down with that. We pumpkin boys now. Alright, one more arena mode, and then there's that special mode, and then we will... Oh, quick play just takes you to a random one. Okay, that's fair. So there is a like a ra whatever is available search. Oh, I did. I meant to change modes. I'm sorry. Whatever. I kind of. I don't know why it's so foggy. Oh, there's tanks too. I like, kind of like that. That's cute. In the year 2000! Oh, you sneaky Pete. Oh, double dipper! Big spawns, no whammies. Show me the butt cheeks. Oh, 
about him. Yeah, I saw it to the left here. Right here? I don't, I don't know what the directions are, honestly. Yoink. Yoink. Genuinely curious how long the project the bouncy projectiles last. I need more meta. What I get for going clockwise? It's Widdershin's time, baby. Okay, that is some sort of structure that it was not a box. I drove past it earlier, I was like, did I miss one? Again, I don't know why it's jumping to 4, 5, and 6 for the numbers on that. It's weird. So Pebble Rush, sometimes it messes up the uh, positional numbers. Like, I should be getting a second place on that and getting at least... Two stars, I would think. Oh, we still got a little bit of pebble, so. Let's do a little shopping real quick. Bobby. Whew, turban. Nice. I kind of like the simplicity of Daniel. Bobby. Oh, okay. I like the color indicators for like what you have versus what you have equipped. That they differentiated that. That's cool. Oh. I didn't see the trails. Those look good. But I kind of want to save... Does that actually cost any pebbles? Okay, it's for some reason it didn't update up here, but it, it, the game knows I don't have that money. But I feel if we finish one more event, which we are about to do... It's an obstacle, obstacle course, we'll do it solo. Okay, it's like it's basically like a um, a sprint. Jeez, yeah, it's like a gauntleted sprint. Okay. I like the idea of this little maze thing. Oh, goop. This is a cool idea. I'm into this. I'm bad at it, but I'm into it. Okay, the little wands shoot spells. I got it. Kind of short, though. There's a map editor though, so I guess you could make a longer ones if you wanted. That's fine. So yeah, needs a little work, but it's definitely more God damn it, Comcast. Fuck you. Okay, it took a little for the purchase to register. I'm gonna do a little shopping here. 
I guess I will be editing this offline because fuck Comcast. I'm going to switch to highlight mode and hopefully get its shit together within the next 10 minutes. Uh... I have a hundred pebbles, let me buy that. There we go. Or not. Okay, things are getting a little weird, but whatever. Apparently if you click the level thing, it just fills. Okay. And maybe fix that. That's very confusing. I can't like manually level up doing that, but that's a little weird. Okay. Okay. 